I don't know what people want standalone for if you have to plug in to a wall. So for me, the NPC Live is just the obvious choice. What is up my fellow household appliances? It's your boy LJ back with another video and hey, your boy has done it. I spent the big bucks and I got myself uh, one of these, the Kai MPC Live 2. And when I tell you it's a beauty, it's not a beauty, it's a beast, honestly. This is my first standalone beat machine workhorse, all right? Um, I've had the machine micro in the past, but you know, you have to be connected to the laptop. I have the OP1, but this is synth base. It's fun, it's cool, but it's really limited and as far as like arranging and you can only have like four tracks. And I'm a sample based producer, so this is much more suitable for me. So I'm gonna give you like my first impressions, what I like about it. And I'm gonna show you the main reason why I got it, which is pretty much to sum it up, portability, no laptop. That's what I was looking for. So to showcase that, we're gonna be heading to the park and cooking up some vibes there. This cost me a lot of schmeckles to show you guys, so make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for some more NPC Live, lo-fi, boom bap, chill hop content. Let's get into it. First off, if you don't know much about NPCs or the history of NPCs, just look it up, all right? Pretty much all the producers back in the day were using NPCs. It was the first thing where people could really just get creative and manipulate all types of sounds. The possibilities were endless. And luckily, Akai, throughout all the years, they've just been keeping it up, updating their product, coming out with newer and more advanced versions. Now they have touchscreens, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all this other crazy stuff. So yeah, it's a big deal. I feel very proud to own one of these, honestly, so. But here are the main reasons why I got it. You know me, I like to be outside, I'm a young nature boy. So, to be honest, I really am more of a fan design-wise of how machines look. And Machine just came out with their new uh, Machine Plus, which is standalone, and I was like, yo, that's sick. I want it. Did some research and it's standalone. You don't need a laptop, but there's no battery in it. And honestly, to me, it's like, what's the point? I don't know. I don't know what people want standalone for if you have to plug in to a wall. So for me, the NPC Live is just the obvious choice. Honestly, somebody answer that question for me in the comments. What is the point of standalone if it has to be plugged in all the time? I know I probably seem stupid to all the people who've been using standalone forever, but whatever. Another really cool thing that led me to get the NPC Live 2 are the built-in speakers. And I'm not gonna lie to you, they are actually surprisingly good. I'll give you a little test right now. I mean, obviously you can't hear it well through the mic, but trust me when I tell you, maybe you need to go to a guitar center or something. These speakers actually knock. Speaker sound test. So that's great. Just today when I went to the park, I left my little headphone adapter. If I didn't have built-in speakers, I would have been screwed. Definitely super clutch on that front. Those were my two factors when I was looking for something like this. I just wanted something with a battery in it and something with a built-in speaker. So that way, literally, I only have to bring this unless I'm recording YouTube videos. I bought one of these, this little beast right here. This is a monster as well, so it's pretty bulky. I'm not gonna lie, but I bought this Zoom H4n Pro and it has TRS, XLR cables at the bottom so that I can plug it into this so that I can record all the internal audio so I can make YouTube videos. But essentially, all I need to bring with me now when I go to a park is this and this. So now on to a more review part of this, okay? What do I like? What do I dislike? So first, let me go with all the things I like. Battery, battery performance, speaker, speaker quality. The pads are phenomenal. Everything is perfect. I mean, the knobs, they twist so nice. The way things function, the way you use the knobs, all of that, I love it. I also really love the touchscreen interface. So I'm recording something, you know, I don't like to quantize my drums. I can just go boom, tap on the screen, select a few parts, select a few hi-hats or something, use the knob nudge him over i need to change the velocity on the little pre-kick boom tap the kick switch to velocity turn the knob down that's something that's super cool about this it's just like a, any piano roll in any doll you can literally just drag stuff around like it's an ipad or something now i haven't plugged anything into this but it does have a bunch of ports midi in midi out usb it even has an ethernet port 
um, a bunch of headphones, different outputs for audio and stuff like that, and an SD card slot for importing sounds, exporting sounds. All the ports I need are there. If I wanna plug up a mic into this and record audio, I can. If I wanna plug up a MIDI keyboard to it, I can. If I wanna plug the OP1 into it and record some synths right off of the OP1 into this, I can do that as well. But yeah, there's so many other features that I haven't even got to dive into yet. I will be doing more videos on this, so make sure you subscribe to see more NPC content as I get more advanced with it. Now, a few things I dislike so far, and it's not that many. I got it for portability, but honestly, it's huge. You're not gonna really even be able to bring a laptop unless you're gonna bring a separate bag because my normal go-to backpack that fits my 16-inch MacBook Pro, this didn't fit in it. Any other pet peeves or dislikes I have about this are maybe just stuff that I haven't learned to do properly yet. So it's a, like I said, it's a big learning curve for me and I'll be learning it. But enough of this mumbo jumbo, let's head to the park and get cooking. Yo, we at Kenneton Park with my shorty. Look, you know, we doing a little photo shoot real quick for her brand, 1106 Ness. She got this new drop. Um, and then we're gonna cook up with the NPC Live 2, so. Yo, kid, let me tell you something about this business. Unfortunately, I left a little headphone jack adapter thing at my house. So to not disturb others, we're just gonna make the beat at a low volume. But yeah, let's get cooking. Number two.
that's it. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment below if you want some more NPC live cook up videos. I'm trying to be like my guy cooking soul. You want me to just do some silent cook ups? Just drop a comment below. Look out for her new line. This is Lilu. If you know the movie, comment below if you know it. Look out for these like next week. It's so fire. Perfect for holding your NPC, you know what I'm saying? Your gear. Um, wear a mask when you're around people. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't wearing a mask while I was cooking up because nobody's around. But now that I'm about to get mobile, got the mask on. But yeah, um, I'm a table. Don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Thank you for watching. Feldry out.